I am minimizing it. Y'all don't let me forget that it's down there in recording. Can't see it. It's down there. Um, okay. Here, I'll do it right there so everybody can see it, okay? All right. Um, we are going to start our lesson today with just a regular subtraction with fractions problem. I'm going to show you how to model the problem, and I'm also going to show you the standard algorithm. I'm showing you both ways so that you can decide which way you prefer. If you like doing the modeling, then you'll know how to do the modeling. If you like doing just the straight numbers and computation, then you can choose that as well. If mom and dad help you tonight with your homework, and they teach you another method. Brian, you're not paying attention. Then, and you get their method, then you can use their method. Okay? Remember the ultimate goal is that you get the what? Right answer. The right answer. I want you to get the right answer. Make sure you are paying attention to these examples. All right, for our first problem, we're going to tackle two-thirds minus one-fourth. All right, to do the model, we're going to just do the models exactly like we've been doing the models. We're going to model for two-thirds first. So we draw our box. We separate it into three sections. And I'm going to put a bracket around the two-thirds. I can also shade in those two sections. One-third and another third section make two-thirds. We're going to do the same thing with our fourth. Take our box, divide it into four sections the opposite direction so four horizontal sections, not perfectly even, but that's okay. I'm going to shade in one of those sections, one of the one-fourth sections. And label my one-fourth. All right, now we need to find equivalent. Just like we can't add one adult and two children, we can't subtract one adult and two children either, can we? No. So we have to come up with equivalents. So what can I do to my two-thirds box to uh, start the process of making it equivalent with something with one-fourth? Uh, Jabria. Mm, not draw a line between them. Like, what can I do to this box? And I need to do whatever to this box that I did to the one-fourth box. So what did I do to the one-fourth box? Okay, so I went horizontally and I drew how many horizontal lines? Three. One, two, three. So my two-thirds is now equivalent to what? How many shaded boxes do I have in my two-thirds? Carter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight shaded boxes out of how many? Ethan, out of 12 total. All right, so now to the one-fourth box, I'm going to do what I did originally to my two-third box, which was what, Ethan? Vertically, so I need two vertical lines and so now my one-fourth is equivalent to what Emma three shaded boxes one two three out of how many how many boxes are there total inside this model Twelve. Is everybody following me so far? Okay, what is subtraction? 
What does subtraction even mean? What does it mean, Brian? To take away. All right, so let's look at this problem. We have two-thirds of something. This is all cut up. Let's call them brownies. I like brownies. So we have two-thirds brownies right here. This is what we have, two-thirds brownies. And we need to take away, Amber comes over to my house, and she wants to take away one-fourth of my brownies. She's going to eat one-fourth of my brownies. A little piggy. Okay, so what is she actually taking away from my brownies? Three twelve. Three twelve. She's actually taking three of my twelve brownies. Or three out of the it was cut up into twelve, so she she's not getting any of this part over here. I I told her she could only choose out of the eight twelfths right here. So she's going to take three away from them. One, little piggy. Two, little piggy. And three, little piggy. How many brownies did she leave me? Five. One, two, three, four, five shaded out of twelve. She left me five twelfths. For now, thanks. Any question? Oh. All right, let's take a look at our standard algorithm. Two thirds minus one fourth. Standard algorithm. This is just numbers, no pictures. What can I multiply this two thirds fraction by? What denominator? Four. So three times four, and to make it equivalent, I have to do <coughs> I have to do the same thing to the numerator that I did to the denominator. So two times four. All right. What about my one fourth fraction? What can I multiply that by? Three. By three. Four times three, and one times three. Four times three, and one times three. All right. Two times four is what? Eight. Eight. And three times four is? Twelve. Minus one times three is? Three. three. And four times three is? Twelve. And just like adding, all we do now is just subtract our numerators. What's eight minus three? Five. Our denominator stays the same. Okay, modeling is more work, but you're able to see exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay, so this model shows you exactly that you are, in fact, taking away 312. This one shows you a procedure. You're getting the same answer. Oftentimes you get it quicker, but it's not really teaching you the concept of taking it away. But again, I'm fine with you using the standard algorithm. I'm going to tell you this next problem. Modeling is probably going to be one of the ways that you might want to choose to do it. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem. This is regrouping. All right, so again, I'm going to show you how to model. I'm also going to show you the standard algorithm. All right, this is subtracting. I'm going to label this different. Subtracting with... So our problem is one and one third minus one half.
How can I model one and one third? Talia. All right, but how can I model it? How can I draw a picture to show one and one third? All right, you're talking so softly, baby. I heard two boxes and do what? Divide them into sections of three. Okay. And now what? Alright, she says color in the whole first one. So one, two, three. There's my one hole. And then what? Color in one from the other box. I have a lot of brownies on this one. Mm -hmm. I have one whole pan. And then I have one third section. I'm not inviting Amber over. She's a little picky. <laughs> I'm not going to have to invite somebody else over. All right, so we have one and one third. But we also have how many one third sections? Two. If this is one third, and this is one third, and one third, and one third, how many one third sections do I have? So we also have four thirds. All right, so this model is just showing how many brownies I have, which is one and one third, right? Now we need to see how many brownies Addie is going to come over and steal from my house. She's going to steal them too. She's a little thief. Alright, Addie, how can I model the half of the brownies that you're going to steal? How can I model half with this box? Vertical, just like we did with the others, or do I want to do the opposite? I want to do the opposite. So I want to draw one horizontal line to show my half. And I can shade in one half. Okay, we need to make them equivalent to each other. We need to make them the same denominators. So what can I do to my one-third boxes that I did to my half box? Caitlin? Okay, so so you answered it for the other other question. So that's fine. You can deviate. Three vertical lines in my half box, which means that my one half is equivalent to what? Three six. Okay, we have one, two, three sections. So Addie is going to take away three brownies. Good brownies, too. All right. What can I do to my one third boxes or my one and one third boxes? Read it. Draw vertical, draw one horizontal line in each box. So my one and one third is still equivalent. I still have one whole pan here. And then this pan over here has how many brownies? Two. Two out of how many cuts? Six. Six. So one and one third is equal to one and two six. But the four thirds is equal to now what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of how many are cut in each pan? Six. Six. There are six cuts in each pan. 
So four thirds is equal to eight sixths. And so how many again is Addie going to come over and steal from me? She's going to come steal three brownies. Addie, come steal three of my brownies. All right, so she came and she sold three of my brownies. How many brownies? Do I have left to eat? One, two, three, four, five. I have five brownies out of the six that were cut in each piece. Do what? All right, so let's take a look now at the standard and we'll see how they're connected and we we'll see which one we like better. We have one and one third minus one half. All right, we're going to, uh, this is the last class to put that one a little bit too close for what I want to do. Uh, so we're going to hold our one hole out here a little bit. What can I do to my one third fraction? Multiply by what? Two. By two, by our other denominator. What can I do to my one half fraction? Times three. three. Times it by three. So two times three and one times three. All right. I'm going to bring down my one whole because I didn't change. And so then now one times two is what? Two. Two. And three times two is? Six. I've only got Cornelius in this class, I guess. All right, one times three is what? Three. three. Before we came back. And two times three is? Six. 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 Anybody notice anything? Mm -hmm. I think Maitland does. She was looking at it, all of a sudden I saw her mouth go. What do you notice, Maitland? Just take three, six, six. Can I take three from two? No. No. This is where the regrouping comes in. Okay, this is why. Did you guys even notice that you had to regroup over here? No. You had no clue. That's why I said y'all probably like the modeling side better for this problem. What is this one whole equivalent to? What fraction six, makes six, one six. whole? Six, six. So this one whole is six, six, plus you already have two, six. So we'll put that in parentheses. Minus three, six. If 6, 6 plus 2, 6 is in parentheses, that tells us we need to, to solve that problem first. So what is 6, 6 plus 2, 6? 8, 6. 8, 6. Minus 3, 6. 5, 6. Equals 5, 6. Still like the standard better? So some people are saying, I don't know yet, I don't know. We need to do a little bit more practice, huh? All right, so what we're going to do, 